explained in, oh, I don't know, two minutes or so. First of all, Bitcoin is a, what you call it, a virtual currency. You can get Bitcoins from a vending machine around sometimes. Um, and then it's usually, right now, it's about 600 to $700 per Bitcoin. And there's different things about Bitcoin. Bitcoin, one, you can get, and then you can uh, use it like a speculative, almost like a stock play. That's what they're using it for right now. Some people use it for, like, transactions. Um, and uh, transactions would be like buying something. Um, and they can use that because there are microtransactions. In other words, the percentage for a visa might be 2 or 3% that costs the merchant, while the microtransactions on a Bitcoin would be like way smaller than that, 0.1 or whatever of a percent. The other thing that happens with Bitcoins is they have cryptocurrencies, and a lot of networks exist, or exchanges as they call it, in different countries, that uh, Bitcoin, you can buy Bitcoin, but you can also, through once you've bought Bitcoin, you can get the other cryptocurrencies, and there's hundreds of them. The problem is they make them up almost every week. So they go up, and then they go down, almost like a six-week cycle. So if you have one of these cryptocurrencies currently, um, they have a tendency to become worth, worthless very fast. So you have to be aware of that. And then to actually cash out, you have to go back to the Bitcoin, exchange it to the Bitcoin, and then you can cash it out from Bitcoin. And some of these little vending machines that you can get, like an ATM, they'll have limits as to how much Bitcoin you can cash out. So if you have large amounts, um, you may not be able to cash out. Some places you can actually deposit the money to get the Bitcoin, but you can't cash out. So anyway, these are things to be aware of. The other thing is data mining. Um, you can get a computer, and your computer can make one or two Bitcoins worth of revenue per month if it handles all the transactions. And that's what data mining is for Bitcoins, is it processes transactions. So when somebody makes a transaction somewhere with a Bitcoin, your machine ends up tracking that transaction and then also records a transaction and handling that transaction in something called a blockchain. It takes all Bitcoin transactions, the internal time history of Bitcoins, and puts it into one big long chain of code and then it adds a mathematical question and the computer has to figure it out. That's the data mining. So it takes a long time, it gets longer and longer. I think there's about 21 million Bitcoins when they're finally done because they're creating Bitcoins along the way by rewarding the data miners one or two Bitcoins a month if they're working a certain amount. Um, and that's kind of how that one works. Uh, how they create the bitcoins is because they're paying the data miners who are handling the processing transactions. At a certain point, they'll run out of, I think they're about 12 million bitcoins or something right now, and they're going to peak out at 21 million. And over time, the people who are doing the data mining are making less and less money because it gets harder and harder to do the transactions, takes longer and longer. So you don't make as much money off of doing the data mining. And then at some point, they'll say, okay, well, we, we're not making any more bitcoins, so therefore they'll have to charge a percentage of the uh, transaction. Um, will go towards the data miners to handle that. And that's your Bitcoin world in a nutshell.